We are in the stretch run of the season. <laughs> Time to hammer down and find out who is in the driver's seat for conference titles. Number one, man. Number one. On this week night edition of the Blitz. Let's go. The big game in the Big Carolina Conference. Newburn at Rose. Would a conference champion be crowned? Or is there a quagmire on the leaderboard? North Pitt off to its best start in 20 years. The Panthers trying to pass a tough test against rival Washington. And Riverside getting to play for just the fifth time this season. The Knights took on the surging Tarboro Vikings. You know who has the most fun on Friday nights. So bring your smiles because we're getting revved up. The blisters now! And welcome to another award-winning edition of The Blitz. We're down to the final three weeks, and the Big Carolina Conference is up for grabs. And we had a big game between Rose and Newburn to help either determine the conference champ or really cause a big quagmire in the standings. That's why it's our Berkshire Hathaway premier matchup. And the Bears, well, you remember they got hammered in the spring at Percy Daniel Stadium, 54-7. Well, I think they remembered it because they came out with a vengeance. Zykeem Brooks. What a game he had, 13 carries, 132 yards rushing, and then down at the goal line, why not, Daquan Bradley. The quarterback has not kept it on the option very much this season, but scores his third touchdown of the year. And Will Bland says, man, sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield, and they were the bug tonight in Greenville. As Zykeem Brooks and company would roll up 432 yards on the ground. Jaden Wallace adding to that as well as another running back getting into it, and then Wallace would finish it off for the offense. Then it was time for Torrey Nowell to give some dap to his defenders. He wanted that shutout, and he wanted it big time, and they would get it. They pressured Will Taylor all night long. Daquan Thompson getting one sack, then Will Brimmer, the basketball star, he's gonna come through with another. Newburn gets the shutout, 48 to nothing, to knock Rose from the, uh, from the unbeaten ranks in the Big Carolina Conference. Our guys have been working really hard the whole time, and of course you guys know, man, that Jacksonville game stung, but our guys still just came competitive and just kept working their butts off, and we just gotta keep bringing it. We gotta keep bringing it, man. You know, each game we have in our conference is like playing in the playoffs, man, because all the teams in our conference are so well coached, and there's just so many teams and so many athletes that can play ball out here. So a couple of teams now with one loss. Rose is off next Friday. They finish the regular season in two weeks at Havelock. The Bears finish up their regular season next Friday at Conley. And speaking of Conley, Jacksonville entertained them tonight. Jacksonville trying to keep pace. The Cardinals back at home tonight. Brett Con Kennedy in Onslow County. And Brett, that was a wild game at the Bird's Nest tonight. It was a wild game, Brian, in the Big Carolina Conference. Let's go right into it. D.H. Conley at Jacksonville. A very good matchup. And we begin with the Vikings getting aggressive in the second quarter. Going deep downfield, and that is going to be caught by Isaiah Crumpler, and he takes off for an 88-yard score. Great pass there, and Conley is rolling. And Bo Williams was not liking this because on the ensuing kickoff, <coughs> they cough it up and who comes up with it but D.H. Conley and they cough it in. Bryce Jackson, the screen pass to Cooper Markham and D.H. Conley is rolling. It is 35 to seven at this point against Jacksonville. What is going on? Nate Connor, his team ate their Wheaties this morning and they decide to go on the trick play. Devin Jeanette going deep downfield, finding Cooper Markham, and he is going to score. And look at this, D.H. Conley with a huge upset over Jacksonville tonight. Your final is 42 to 21. A big upset tonight. Brian, back to you. All right, Brett, so that leaves Newburn and Rose tied for first place with Jacksonville a game back. Havelock trying to keep its playoff hopes alive. They visited South Central this evening. And the Rams out to the early 7-0 lead and adding to it Andrew Frazier looking for 
Shaheen Taylor Austin. He has him in the back of the end zone. That's going to make Travis Sebdo, the offensive coordinator, happy. Andy, too, not happy looking for a play that would work for his Falcons, who have struggled offensively this year. Well, Saquon Waters, watch him reach across good enough for the touchdown. That cut the lead to 13 to 6. But then back comes Allen Wooten's squad. Frazier looking for his favorite target, Javante Vereen. This is why he's getting all these D1 offers. Vereen over the defender. How about one more time in slow motion so you can appreciate it better? Havlock goes into Winterville and they get the win. 32 to 12. Jason Moore, the beautiful interception here to help Havlock get the victory and stay in playoff contention. In the Eastern Carolina Conference, North Pitt off to its best start in 20 years. The Panthers put their 7-1 record on the line against their neighbors from Washington. And this was one of those games we knew we had to keep an eye on as North Pitt down 15 to nothing in this one. Their fans pretty excited, but here come those Panthers trying to get back into it. Tristan Robertson is going to score. And that's going to make, or Jamarcus Pippins, I should say, and that's going to put North Pitt back into this one. 16 to 50, they had the lead on this touchdown by Javion Cherry. But Washington would come right back behind who else? Terry Moore, Scary Terry, headed to Duke and showing why as he busts through, and it would be all Washington from there. They end North Pitt's win streak and knock them from the ranks of the unbeaten in their conference with a 37-22 win. Washington takes care of them. The Pam Pack, a game behind North Pitt in the standings. Well, Green Central uh, was trying to knock off West Craven. The Eagles, the only undefeated team left in conference play. They host a Green Central and Daquan Shelton. He scores his second TD. And then an interception by Manning Johnson would uh, allow Daquan to score again. Then the interception. Wes Craven having no problems at home. They are starting to gain momentum. Mike Twitchell's squad, they could be a tough out in the playoffs as there's that interception. And Quandre Cherry and company, they would get the win over Green Central. 48 to nothing. Green Central, uh, Wes Craven now with a big showdown game with North Pitt next week for the conference championship. All right, how about for Rivers Conference play? First place on the line between Riverside and Tarboro. Highway 64 showdown, and Tobias Joyner going to get in from 11 yards out. Tarboro out to the early lead. Joyner would add the two-point conversion, and it would be all Tarboro from there on out. They would take out the Riverside Knights. Final score from Edgecombe County, 42-8. to So Tarboro, it's eighth straight win as they continue to roll. Other four Rivers Conference scores, that includes uh, Washington County, uh, did not play their game with Gates, and Bertie lost to Berquimans 48-6. And we go to South Creek, going out of Four Rivers Conference play. They travel to Greenville to take on John Paul II. The Saints adding three players and going from their usual eight-man to 11-man tonight. And their defense getting a fumble early on. Carson Kester's jumping on it. And Hoodie, the St. Bernard, the new live mascot at St. Paul, or at uh, John Paul's. Couple of weeks old, he would watch Dash and Smash work again. Justin Biggs gonna go for a long gainer. Ryan Roseboro, two touchdowns, including the game winner in the fourth quarter. And John Paul does it. They get the 18 to 12 win in 11 man football. We've got plenty more highlights to show you, but first it's our Sella Ford fans of the stands. Let's go back out to Bethel, where North Pitch fans showing out for their team, who looks good. They have a big game next week. More highlights coming up on the Blues. 